it's Miss Taylor here. I'm all cozied up in my jammies and ready for bed. The last thing I need to do is read a bedtime story. And I'm excited to read to you guys tonight, Giraffes Can't Dance. All right, let's read it. Giraffes Can't Dance by Giles Andre. Gerald was a tall giraffe whose neck was long and slim, but his knees were awfully crooked and his legs were rather thin. He was very good at standing still and munching shoots off trees, but when he tried to run around, he buckled at the knees. Now every year in Africa, they hold a jungle dance where every single animal turns up to skip and prance. And this year, when, they did, when the day arrived, poor Gerald felt so sad because when it came to dancing, he was really very bad. The warthogs started waltzing and the rhinos rock and rolled. The lions did the dance the tango that was elegant and bold. The chimps did the cha-cha with a very Latin feel and eight baboons teamed up for a splendid Scottish reel. Gerald swallowed bravely as he walked toward the floor, but the lions saw him coming and they soon began to roar. Hey, look at clumsy Gerald, the animals all sneered. Giraffes can't dance, you silly fool. Oh, Gerald, you're so weird. Gerald simply froze up. He was rooted at the spot. They're right, he thought. I'm useless. Oh, I feel like such a clot. So he crept off from the dance floor and he started walking home. He never felt so sad before. So sad and all alone. And there he is. Then he found a little clearing and he looked up at the sky. The moon can be so beautiful, he whispered with a sigh. Excuse me, coughed a cricket who'd seen Gerald earlier on. But sometimes when you're different, you just need a different song. Listen to the swaying grass and listen to the trees. To me, the sweetest music is those branches in the breeze. So imagine that lovely moon is playing just for you. Everything makes music if you really want it to. With that, the cricket smiled and picked up his violin and Gerald felt his body do the most amazing thing. His hooves started shuffling, making circles on the ground. His neck was gently swinging and his tail was swishing round. He threw his legs out sideways and he swung them everywhere. Then he did a backward somersault and leaped up in the air. Gerald felt so wonderful. His mouth was open wide. I'm dancing, yes, I'm dancing, I'm dancing, Gerald cried. Then, one by one, each animal who had been there at the dance arrived while Gerald boogied and watched him, quite entranced. They shouted, It's a miracle! We must be in a dream! Gerald's the best dancer that we've ever seen! How'd you learn to dance like that? Please, Gerald, tell us how! But Gerald simply twirled around and finished with a bow. He, then he raised his head and looked up at the moon and the stars above. We all can dance, he said, when we find the music that we love. That was such a good book. All right, everybody. I hope you have a great night. Thank you.